As soon as the Premier League fixtures are released every year, there's one fixture I look for straight away. Liverpool away. On Saturday, Manchester United travel to Anfield. We're in second place. They're in seventh place. Jurgen Klopp against Jose Mourinho. However you want to paint this fixture, for me, it's still the biggest game of the Premier League season. Manchester City might be our title rivals this year, but nothing comes close to the rivalry that we have with Liverpool. And heading to Anfield, Manchester United are a team bang in form. United are currently second in the Premier League. We've won six out of our seven games and drew the seventh, so two all away at Stoke. And they're the only two goals we've conceded in the Premier League so far this year. 21 goals scored and two against. Romelu Lukaku firing on all cylinders. I think he's got 11 goals so far this season. Martial scoring, Rashford scoring, Mkhitaryan's getting plenty of assists, Matters looking magical too. We don't have Pogba, but we have so many players who are really in form going to Liverpool, and it's hard not to be confident. But you've always got that niggling voice in the back of your head going, it's Liverpool away, things don't always work out as they should. And form does go out the window in games like this. But Manchester United heading to Anfield, they've got to be confident. And on the other hand, you look at Liverpool, they're in seventh place at the moment, they've only won three games this season, and they've only scored 13 goals, and they've conceded 12. So many people suck off Liverpool's attack. Salah, Firmino, Coutinho, Mane, it's the best attack in the league. Man United have scored eight more goals than that this year. No one's really been saying too much about us, apart from the fact that Lukaku is exceeding expectations and Martial and Rashford look magical. Everybody's talking about Liverpool's attack and ours has scored eight more goals. And look at that Liverpool defence. I say this with my hand on my heart, not being biased. I would not take a player from Liverpool's defence in this Manchester United team. Mignolet, Pony, Lovren, he's become better, but still Pony. Matip, their best centre-back. Klavan, the old Estonian dude, don't even know why they signed him. They've got Nathaniel Klein's out injured. Moreno, an awful left-back. Their defence is woeful, and it's a perfect opportunity for Manchester United to expose that by playing the right formation and playing with the right level of confidence. And heading into this game, Man United really are firing on all cylinders. In terms of team news going into the game, there, there's concerns for both teams. And as far as I'm concerned, the best player of both teams will not be playing in this game. Paul Pogba, he is missing with a hamstring injury. Now, Mauro Fellaini, a man bang in form, a man who has scored as many goals in nine appearances this year with four goals as he did last year in 50-odd appearances. Fellaini's missing with a ligament strain. That's a real blow for Man United because I think Pogba and Fellaini both would have started. Liverpool play with their high intense press. And to negate that press, you play balls over the top. That's where a player like Fellaini could come in so useful. We've got Lukaku there, so hopefully he can do a job as well. But I just know that Fellaini would have started this game if he was fit. And Herrera is going to play in his place and hopefully he has an absolute blinder. But you've got those two players missing for Manchester United. And Phil Jones is a bit of a concern, so we'll see what goes on there. But as I said, our best player is missing in Pogba. Liverpool's best player is missing in Sadio Mane. Liverpool made an announcement on, on Wednesday, Tuesday or Wednesday. He is going to be missing with a hamstring injury, I think. He's out for six weeks. That's a terrible blow for Liverpool. And that's the one player I really feared in that Liverpool team. Phil Coutinho has the ability to score a wonderful goal from 25, 30 yards. But he's not a player, for me, that can cause problems for a defence for a full 90 minutes. He floats in and out of games. Sadio Mane, you can't ignore him. His pace is ferocious and his final product is fantastic. Goals, crosses and assists. Liverpool are going to struggle without him. They'll probably play a front three of Coutinho, Firmino and Salah, which still is dangerous, but nowhere near as dangerous as it would be if Mane was in the team. And Nathaniel Klein's out of right back for Roberto Firmino. He was rested, I think, for their last game, but he'll play in this match. But going into it, as I said, Liverpool missing Mane, Manchester United are missing Pogba. The thing that we have got that Liverpool don't have is real strength in depth. And going into the game, I think it's advantage United as far as the team news is concerned. Now, as you know, United People's TV backed for the season by Lagbrokes. Thank you very much. And every single week, I give you a bet to follow. I'm not sure I've actually got a bet right so far, but this one, I'm getting right. I'm saying both teams to score and United to win. I think Liverpool's attack is good enough to score a goal, but their defence is not good enough to stop Manchester United scoring multiple goals. 
My prediction's 3-1. We'll get into that in a bit. But that's what I'm saying. Both teams to score and Manchester United to win. One thing I wanted to talk about going into the game is discussing how I feel United are going to play on the day. Because if there's one thing we didn't do right last year under Jose Mourinho, it was our record away at the top six. We drew 0-0 at Anfield. We drew 0-0 at the Etihad. We got pumped at Stamford Bridge by Chelsea on Mourinho's return. We lost against Arsenal and we lost against Spurs. Two points from a possible 15 against the top five rivals. That's an awful record and we absolutely have to improve on that this year. But I still expect Manchester United to be pragmatic as such with the formation that we use. I think we're going to use a 3-5-2 like we did away against CSKA Moscow. But unlike last year when we used a 3-5-2 against Liverpool, We've got multiple attackers in form. Last year, we needed Pogba and Ibrahimovic to have a good game, and they were both quiet. Because of that, we had very little attacking spark. Right now, Lukaku, Rashford, Martial, Mkhitaryan, Mata, multiple players all in great form in attack. We don't have one focal point. We've got so many attackers that can offer threat and danger to this Liverpool defence. And that, for me, is why I'm so confident. I'm going into this game... I think Man United are going to win this 3-1. As I said, I think Liverpool's attack is good enough to score a goal, but their defence is so poor at the moment, they've conceded 12 goals this season, that I think United are going to put them to the sword. I think we're going to get plenty of chances, and we're so clinical in front of goal at the moment, that I think we're going to score three, and I'm going to go for a 3-1. I'm extremely wary that going into games like this with so much confidence can always come back to haunt you. And I really hope it doesn't. But I haven't felt this confident going to Anfield in some time. Liverpool, no, sorry, look, Klopp isn't under pressure at Liverpool yet from the Liverpool fans. There's a certain degree of pressure coming from the media. But if Liverpool get pumped by Manchester United on Saturday, a 3-1, a 4-1, a 3-0, a confident win for Manchester United at Anfield, there's going to start being some dissent from Liverpool fans. That's the situation that Liverpool are in at the moment. Losing this game could be catastrophic to their season. They're already seventh. They're not going to win the league this year. That's already out of the equation. But they're a team that's struggling to build momentum. And Manchester United right now are a steam train. And I hope we can steam straight through this Liverpool defence. We should be able to, because as far as I'm concerned, it's the worst out of those top six, seven sides. But how are you feeling going into this game at Anfield? Are you nervous? Are you confident? Are you both of them? Let me know in the comments below your prediction. And go over to the Predicted 11 video, there'll be a link here, Ta-da! where you can check out what my predicted team is for the game. As always, if you're new, drop a like on the video and subscribe to United People's TV. We'll speak to you after Anfield. Take it easy.